And now, a message from the New York Police Department. Welcome, everyone. I'm Sergeant Jeff McDougal. I want to start off by saying New York City has a lot to be proud of. The Knicks are good. The Rangers are good. The Mets are trying their best. <laughs> but summer is coming up, and we are seeing an increase in random acts of violence across the street. So just this week, National Treasure Steve Buscemi was punched while walking through Kipps Bay. These types of attacks cannot and will not be tolerated. So, to everyone watching, I have one important message. Stop punching character actors in the face. Uh, but, Sergeant, uh, wasn't that just one isolated is incident? Unfortunately, this follows similar assaults on Rick Moranis and the shockingly versatile Michael Stuhlberg. <laughs> is Tom something? It's Michael Stuhlberg. <laughs> the point is, character actors are being targeted. And how would you define character actor? Simply put, it's actors whose faces you can remember, but names you cannot. <laughs> so when you're walking in New York, you may be at risk if you've ever been on the TV show Boardwalk Empire. <laughs> You have a face that makes casting directors go, oh, interesting. <laughs> your IMDb page has over 100 entries, but all your characters just have a first name. <laughs> You've ever done a three-episode arc on a TV show whose title is just letters. <laughs> yeah, Sergeant, what is the NYPD doing to prevent future attacks? Well, we're offering protection to character actors we know are at risk. We've assigned a security detail to Steven Root. <laughs> we're asking that you avoid mass transit if you ever played a girlfriend on Seinfeld. <laughs> or a boyfriend on Sex in the City. <laughs> and we've asked Paul Giamatti to shelter in place. Question, do we really consider Paul Giamatti to be just a character actor in this stage of his career? Come on, he's no Brad Pitt. I'm not saying he's Brad Pitt. I'm saying sideways, the holdovers. Obviously, he's not Brad Pitt. All right, all right. <laughs> Everyone relax. I know this is a lot to take in, which is why I'm proud to announce the NYPD is starting a new task force called the Organization to Hinder Harmful Incidents in Manhattan, also known as OHIM. <laughs> now, here are some other character actors who should be on high alert. This guy who's usually like the villain. <laughs> this lady, she's funny. This guy, he's in everything. Uh, and of course, Steven Tolobowski. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, I want to say his name is Tim something. It's Steven Tolobowski. I just said it. It's, 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 it's literally right there. Oh, uh, I see there's another question. Uh, yeah, hi, hi. <laughs> would, an actor, would an actor like, say, John Hamm have to be worried? No, I think you're fine. Oh, good, good. I, I can't get punched. Without this beautiful face, I'm just a tall guy with a perfect body. <laughs> Brad Pitt. I'm not saying I'm Brad Pitt. Okay, okay, okay. That about wraps up this press conference. Uh, we have time for one more question. Yes, why does the NYPD care so much about character actors? Why? Because they're the lifeblood of the entertainment industry. Without character actors, who would be the one person in the crowd who stands up and shouts, get him, Spider-Man? <laughs> or who would play the TSA officer in a rom-com who says, shut up and kiss her already? <laughs> These people didn't become actors by being beautiful. They became actors by being good at acting. So please, next time you see a character actor on the street, don't punch him. Google him. <laughs> to figure out the thing that he was in. And thank them. Thank <laughs> you.